also misery, it's no mystery And you and I, we got history, yeah uh, potential of the mid actually. Senkex is in trouble. No flash, remember. Yeah. Gravity Field comes up. Very good equalizer. That'll cut off at least one of the paths. Beautiful. Such a great sidestep. Cuve does not look Cassiopeia in the eyes. Cuve played that amazingly. Able to get the Duke in there. Does not get tagged up by the ultimate. And that's a great roam. This is one thing that you have to respect about Rumble now. He shoved lane so hard that he is able to visit other areas of the map before the rest of your team can. Not even alive yet. Again, the 5v4 TSM need this to go right because they are losing their base to minions as we speak. This is the type of play that can go down to a steal attempt and there's no, nothing you can do to stop it. 2,000 HP left on the Elder Dragon. Hawks are still waiting for the flank play, looking for the damage, and it's going to be picked up by Ruler from Samsung Galaxy, but the fight begins anyway. Ruler down to half. Core JJ a bit low. Not here. But Kube has joined the fight and suddenly it's going pear shape for TSM. Hans are forced away. They just have not found the engage. They need to know they screwed up. So all he can do is maybe juke out. He's running a flashless jungler as well. Ghost only. Gotta be bold move here now. Bjergsen. Oh, he He's dodges dead. the bombs. Crap the chase. And a solo kill in the mid lane at level five. You miss your bombs on Zillion and you have nothing left. Crown steps forward where Bjergsen expects him to step back, takes a big risk in lane and falls. Also the aggressive flash. Bombs are never guaranteed if the opponent wants to flash aggressive action. Bottom side immediately tries to take control of the other side of the map and Cuve, who had been kind of freely using his ultimate before, saves it for the last hit. Yeah, he saves for the last hit. He kind of got surprised by overheating a little bit, got a little scared there, but in the end, hang on Bjergsen, not again, right? Not under that much, but Pop Steel is going to walk into turret now. range to get the revive. Oh no! He's not going to now. It Biofrost shielded him, so a he didn't pop the revive. Him, and it's going to be oh. Crown taking him out. Huge misplay by Bjergsen. Doesn't get the revive off, and now no, Samsung with control. That was the misplay by Biofrost. Yep. Double lift with or Bjergsen altered himself because there's no way Crown could stall. Surprise, he's likely going to be at least one summoner blown here once he combos. And the question has been is the communication there between Smoothie and Meteos? For sure it was on that one. Crown moves fast. Oh, he gets smoothie. the stick though. Petrifying gaze. Smoothie gets taken down. Flash and Knight is down. They're on the crown. Right. Samsung can pick any point of power right now. Man, Ruler with the gin hits oh. every single ultimate shot. The first turret gold is still on the map here. So if there's a huge fight bottom lane, there's. Oh. You were You're saying? Oh. Oh. You were oh. saying? Oh. Ruler flashes over the tidal wave. He goes for a surf, and Core JJ still getting the shots in. Smoothie with 350 health lives on. Oh, teleport from Samsung. On to Ambition, very, very tanky. Flashes are being used here. Tidal Wave flashed out by Ambition. Ooh. Slicing Maelstrom on three members. The Shockwave from Crown, and Cloud9 is melting. Impact to the skies and to the back line as he tries to finish Ambition, but it's like he's hitting brick walls left and right. Samsung stay up as five, and Smoothie is the only one standing for Cloud9. Puppy let it bounce back to try and punish Impact, but the second Ambition back up from the top lane. Yep. Impact had a free push, but right now he's in danger. Oh, oh. the verdict is in! Cube, first blood! Again! Cube. On Cube to TP in there. He's coming now. Baron being started going out fairly quickly from H2K side. Samsung have to respond. Baron still going low. Ambition connects. They can the flash over from Forgiven. They're looking for him. That's a kill. They traded one for one. Yankov running for his life. Ryu's cut down. And with Cube chasing, you're never going to outrun an Echo. Phase dive forward. Forgiven's getting chunked down. Time winder plus Boomerang equals death. Triple for Cube. These are those Intellivorns and Petrifying games. Keep Ryu out of the fight. Up in the top lane, Odo's overheating once again. Cannot get that equalizer down. Yubei's buying his time. Accelerated shot boss, flash into the kill. Yubei's now looking for more. Flash over the wall from Yankos. Kicks Yubei backwards, enlists the help of the tower. Round wall from Ryu as well, so it's one jump in. So no real uh, kill glitches here. Yankos and Odo, they're going to go toe to toe. Yubei gets the more Mount Mortis, trades a kill. Even a two on one, even the best players will die. Yankos too. can get his own blue when Bengi so chooses. This makes it difficult for Crap. Look, he already burns some summoner spells and he's ulted now twice just to shove out the wave. Might have some kill track. Oh, oh, oh. He's still getting he got the last tick. He's on Crown. Crown. Solo kills Faker. The dance around Infernal is set they're up. They're gonna pull the trigger. Crown is not there. Duke's not there either. Crown was doing blue buff, which is why they're starting they're for it. So it's just to steal. Steal indeed. He gets it! 
Miracle play! Exactly as you were. If they don't immediately retreat to clear them. There's no time for Samsung. They have to go to the mid. That's a two down route! Bang and Wolf are in trouble! The Poppy Hammer throws up! Shockwave pulls up Bang and out. into it! Bang is down! Where is Faker? Gravity feels splitting them up. It's a double kill for Ruler. He's looking for more. Cuvee running for his life. Cuvee and Bengi, they're going toe to toe. The GA was popped. Here comes Duke in the base. The Nexus turret still stands. Ambition is clearing. They're going to back it up as well. Bang also making the legacy for himself alongside Faker. Please oh, run place. down by Bank. Flash away from QV. Oh, Taking a witch. Knock up onto Duke. That was a good play by QV. Even more for it. Well, this would be a that time to try and get back. They scout it with the True Shot Barrage. You want SK Team to QV has oh. teleport. Samson yeah. can try and make a play back on the damage. Rulers jumped forward, already used the True Shot Barrage. Wolf is killed by ambition. It looks oh, like Samson are coming back. They've killed Faker, found Bengi, and moving on to Duke. Crown, he's tagging in with the stars. They're peeling backwards. Baron's the target. They can get it. They already have four drakes, none of them are mounts, but they've killed three. There is a ward behind them. SKT do have teleport available on Duke, but Cube is keeping sight on Duke. They're going for Faker. Faker is down. They've got him. Faker's down. Crown is pushing forward. It's at the cost of Ambition's life. Crown is zoning away SK Telecom. Shots, but nobody dies. Up in the top lane, Duke and Cube, they're going toe to toe. Slicing Maelstrom burns through. Flash oh my god! Flash. Flash. Cube, first alone! Solo kills Duke! Cube! Each moment after an incredibly close fight in mid lane knows no one else can come there, he makes it happen. The curtain call! Take a bang! Oh. Bang! Oh, for him. Bang! Bang! Blank flashes for his life! Samsung, get another! Oh. Behind. And the fight's now going to break out. Gravity Field will pull Blank backwards. That should be the GA pop. Cell Division still available. Curtain Call interrupted. Very good title. Oh, yeah. 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 He's found three. Oh. Blank charges up the Maelstrom. The slingshot. Faker's down. Samsung get three. Quick shot. Just look we done. Jungler on jungler action. Shockwave Ooh. catches Ruler, but the Defiance comes oh, up. Crown it. shuts him down. That's a good kill. The third inhibitor falls. Samsung. They don't want to fall this far behind. Prey's going in. Oh. Will he try for the steal? Peanut's going low on and that. Quick solo. He, low. he can Barrett kill Trey. Stop. Peanut's going for the 50-50. G2 on low. A flash in from Peanut. Oh, he secure it. The Rocks Tigers get the Baron. They get a kill. And they manage to get out. Prey's not done. That's a double. Sven's in trouble. Sven's trying to run. Flash away from Mithy. Sven's running for his life. He should be able to get to safety. Not if Prey has anything to say about it. One tower. Two. Sven's got no mana for a flourish. And Rocks win, Baron! Well, they want to win this game, that they have to win this game. They have double mountain drakes. It speaks to their strengths of being able to burst down the Baron, and they're hoping to get oh, Rock oh, to pull oh, up. Oh, they're oh, going! Oh, oh, teleport's coming in! Curtain call and wish have already been used. A trick is running away! Expect gets caught down. He's okay. got a PA, remember, but he needs Megan. Oh, oh, no! Delete it! Remember, I've seen one! A G2! The outside of a massive engage that just don't think it's time yet. Yeah. Kalen is just too safe. Smab though. There's the ghost. Blinking. Goes from Kuro. He's trying to get yes. the hit from Smab. They're right on the stick site. He goes down. They were waiting for the moment to pull the trigger. And who he's going to do a bit of damage to keep them at bay? It's not a Narbar from Darshan. They're not going to be too scared of it, but they are able to still group in mid lane. He's going to try to build that up you know now, it? but they do recognize the attack, and they say, there's nothing for Darshan. We can... I think Smurf maybe caught one. He's flipped to Peanut here. He's going to keep his verdict him out of the way. Peanut does dodge that one, but the stun's going to keep him against the wall. He's there. Tight. He's coming. Peanut's looking for it. Smurf going to try and keep him out. Peanut wants it. Throws the needle. Go to the Peanut looking for the steal. He does it one more time. Steos is dead. They got a tower. They got a tower. Oh, this game is so crazy. I can't believe it. And they got Elder Drake. This is good pressure. Flash forward. Trick bounces away. Red buff is on. Oh, Here no. comes Peanut. Javelin toss forward. Perks is running out of mana. Not going to get the kill. Trick goes down. Perks either ran out of mana or thought it was going to kill him with the poison. But that is a mess.
massive misplay there by G2 getting super aggressive and giving a kill over to Penis. You can tell the hesitation there when you're doing a risky play like that. That's my A and X gonna force that hand. Peanut cues in, has tagged him, and time him away. Ready with the keeper's verdict. Kieran Lakrita two v twoing on the other side, and Peanut he's got no. Is Peanut to get in, goes in for it again. Oh, oh Kuro got it. it. The Kuro and Rocks they keep the dream alive. Kuro with the hail mary on the Baron that is gonna keep them in this game. Do they run warp in or do they walk? Also a gank top side. All right, double side. The oh. flash knockback. Here's the ward up in the kick as well. Oh. Lands the side of Quave. That's first blood in for Peanut. Meanwhile, Prey has to do just that. He's running gonna have clear love. Ash gonna lose his life. The kill in for Prey. Rocks Tiger still not saying die. Finally, the kills come through for Scout. Two to two overall. But Kuro is not done. Voice of Flight tags Mako. Flash the chase. Oh my He's goodness. gonna try to get some over there inside the orbit. They're not taking any damage. He finally gets one and gets oh. away with it. Kuro makes it three two. Rocks Tigers. You can't excuse lack of Ragnarok initiation on the turret dive either. Rock's looking for more than just the turret. Gonna land the Q, the flash, the chase, the slow, and a clear the kick into the wall. The kill comes through to Kuro with the orbiting stars. And more comes through for the Rock's Tigers. Now a death stun's gonna land. Double kill for the mid laner. One more chase for Spab. Actually gonna run away from the EDG. For now, no other damage, just Peanut dueling with Kara. He's got the teammates coming. Zyra just below, down on that side of the map. Aurelion Soul coming as well. That's that yellow orb on your screen. Koro able to get away, not running any summoners. And here's the rest of Edward Gaming. Spev has teleport. Oh. And here's the re-engage. Two members already picked up. Make that three. Koro doesn't even need to snipe a double kill for Kuro in the mid lane for Rocks Tigers. And that was a 5v4, theoretically, Spev. Right now, all the Korean fans can be exceptionally happy at how their team is doing right now. Once again, look at the play on Scout. He is able to dodge some of the skills shots and actually flash away for a few more seconds. Maybe Peanut finds the re-engage, in fact, might just do so. Flash the Q, gets the kill with the kick. Nicely done there by Peanut Trinity. We'll catch him doing oh, this with uh, low mon and low health. He it's over. Oh. Fiora is missing. Walks into the camp, actually gets away from the skill shots, but doesn't really matter. Smites for a bit of healing. Trying to run out. One more hit, will do it. And that's first blood in for Smab. And she would have loved to get the easy jump over there with the Krugs, but he is still going to be all in the hunt. All it takes is a flash kick to connect his Still Q. Likely to be a kill. Walk into his face, kick into the wall. There's the Q. The There's the chase in. Not even difficult. And flash that to make it easy. That's a nice leap. Teleporting in the lane. Is able to get one back on Snap. They also burnt the flash, which just makes him better. And a ton of CC now on to Mako. He's getting shot down. Nice play by Dex. Oh! oh! But Mako gets himself out of the way and takes the shot anyway. That's it's lane dominance either. You're seeing the overall gold game. We plus two. 100 for Rocks Tigers. They are laning better as a team, but the re engage on Gorilla means nothing because suddenly Peanut is here on the Olaf. A flash forced yeah, out of Mila, but he is still chasing on the Depth, who's nearly out of HP. The chase is oh, for Prey. First blood. That's two for Peanut. It might be a third. And the re engage for Coral One. Can he do much of anything? It doesn't seem like a lot. Peanut very, very low. Oh, Slicing oh. Maelstrom. Smith says, Don't you dare go for my teammates. Another one. Rocks Tigers, four to one. A couple of luxuries in the thick of bad and fell down. This is how they were locked. And the shot is there on Namanko. He's got nowhere to go. Chopped down yet again. Peanut is godlike and playing like it absolutely fell down there in this turret. And get the attack where they're going to eat up the traps. And here comes the play. They brought in Spev. He's oh, the back baby. line. And Scout is nowhere to be seen. They're getting evaporated. Assassinated in the lightning storm. This is all they could possibly need. Clear love running out of hell. Scout nearly just nothing to do anymore. Jumps back towards the fountain. Who even what? cares? Hey. And Peanut, who actually stays alive. They flash to keep him up in this one. So important. Ultimate just now coming up for SKT. We're going to see a fight. Duke in a good position. The Gorilla caught in the front. Gets okay behind the wall. Now the re-engagement of Engie popping his ultimate. 1800 health on the Dragon. Peanut is still taking it. And then Smith takes an arrow to the face of the shutdown. And bang for a bang. He's got it. Peanut lands the smite. So it is a lust. Oh, who warded that? Why would you? Wolf gives Peanut the escape by warding over the wall. And Peanut had made Blank one his ghost in the mid lane. So if this kind of thing does arrive, there's no escape for Blank if they turn on him. Two versus they two. They should go straight on go in, and it's going to be they first. Two get. first. Look at the damage on to him. Nothing to do at all. And he's going to land the Sonic Wave for a quick person. Ash arrow. Big arrows land on the Wolf, and it's just going to be too much damage too fast. Teleports be damned. Who cares? A two-on-two -two kill for the Rock's bottom lane. Nah, it beats. They just have to wound, send them back to base, and then go for the aggressive Baron. Really well thought out by Rock's this is play that started minutes in advance. Just like the previous game, it's still Rock's in a bit of a hole. Oh, he killed him. Scale is still there. Wow! That's all the damage. Peanut needs mid inhibitors down as well. 5v4. Keep on going. Peanut just exquit.
Also worth noting, it's sort of sort of par for the course. Yeah. And Wolf getting caught at level four. Here's the jump in. A few more attacks will do it. And that's first blood kick with the flash kick on the bank. That was beautiful. And they make it a double kill for Prey. Oh, into a potential dragon. However, it's about big. This they got him more. again. There's the stun. There's the volley slow. And all the damage they could possibly need. Gorilla gets the kill. Nothing Wolf could have done outside of getting out. Oh, man. Go. That's Flash oh, out of Bang, but he's still slowed down. There's the Harpoon, there's the Chase down, and Gorilla's gonna make it rain. It's gonna be close. And the bullet time, and it's gonna be all the damage he needs. Gorilla getting the kill. Because Gorilla played it smart, he flashed SKT here, finding at least one point of level. And at this point, SKT didn't need an answer to Dash. He's arrowing every single and time. And Bang's running out of health much too quickly. And this is why Rox has first picked the Ash. They're making so much. We'll push up mid here, and then likely retreat into the area. As well, and he's just gone. Gorilla gets the credit, of course. Why not? 11 to 7, no mid laner. The target that he had in the top Ash lane. Arrow. Ash are coming in. Gonna get dodged away from. It's now just Help from Duke top side. And they know Ash isn't here, so they're actually gonna push really hard to try and get onto Kuro here. He's got a flash. Well, in the Kuro, he's got flash, he's got ulti, but he's not gonna burn these spells just yet. He's running out of health way too rapidly, and Blake's gonna pick him off. The shutdown is there, and Gorilla's now just putting bullets in the Duke. How much can they really get? Ooh, bullet time does a lot of Forces flash out, and now Prey is here, exhaust is on! One kill picked up a Faker, gets it back on the Gorilla Smep, running out of health, and gets shut down as well, but Prey, does he find the targets? Peanut has Guardian Angel, maybe he plays Frontline, how much can they really get? Prey turns oh, it back, turn! Look for right. Bang, looks for it all! He's got one! What else can he get? It's gonna be Blake in his sights! He's coming back! Faker's low, how much more can they get? The stun's coming in, and it's Duke with the big play, but the turnaround from Prey, turning it back in! The resonating strike and the ace goes through for Peanut! Oh, oh there he is! The rush, there it is, it's Peanut! A lot of damage down, 300 HP on Bangy, they repel the chase! Cup more attack, the flash! One more Q will get him! And Peanut solo kills for first blood! He reads the game, the boob of the setup, they have two pink wards in this bottom side. That's the lack of vision. There you go. Team. They get him again. Another stun into the room, into all the damage, and yes, they pick him off. Prey gets Wolf. 2-0 Rocks Tigers. And I said two pink boards. It's actually Fine time. Yeah, push in the bottom side. This is what SKT is trying to punish. There they he gets the getting hit Gorilla putting down five damage auto attacks, doing what he can to keep mid lane alive because top and him has been killed, and they even got the pick off on Bang. Rocks doesn't actually have to stop pushing right now. They can delay the recalls. The arrow oh, arrows. Look at the arrow. Get teleport. He stopped him with the thing and push. It's now on Wolf. It's a teleport coming in for Smith and Curl. How much more can be done? They want to win right now. Tank. Wolf running out of health. He's going to die off. On the turrets they go, but the minions are gone, and it's too much. SKT. Earlier, you know, even in the mid game, this will be repeated for SKT. They need to. Pulled down C9 before they fight here. Ensign finally oh, flashes. Oh. It's too late. He flushed his thumb, but the ulti still killed him. Never finished your color point while Faker's going for an all in crap. Up. I mean, you would expect the Ensign to know the limits of these champions. A little awkward there. Wolf again with a double pulverize. Gonna knock one back in, but it doesn't quite get smoothie. Wolf taking damage. No ulti is sneaky pops his to get them out of the way. Bang. Goes straight. He's too frail. Gets one shot by a lot of these. You know, additional damage that's been thrown around. Ooh, actually Fake gets juice in. in back on. Medios is here, but so is Bengi. Medios covering into the cocoon. He's gonna catch it on the way through. SKT. No thing in here for the kill. Uh, has to be so frustrating for Jensen here, because that was a nice opening. He went for the R flash. Oh, sure. So able to hold that W, not to chase, but because he knows that the potential I'm out game. What the? Arcane shift flashes still up for Uzi. He flashes the second. Get me out of there. Not what, done yet. Now bottom lane. He's running low on mana, going toe to toe. Uzi's gonna go down. No! no! Uzi's killed by Wolf. In the end. With mid lane and top lane pushing towards. Lupus coming from behind. Eats a lot of clog damage. Very good stranglefall. Slows down the RNG engage. Lupa will go down. That's what Duke was looking for. Slicing Maelstrom gets a kill. Blank's looking to bounce up in here. SKD can just wait for RNG to show in base and then jump them. Now it's gonna look for Shao. Who Shao actually gets knocked away by less bounce. Blank is going to jump onto MLXG. Blank's looking for more. Shao, who is down. So Solo with the range. No even assist damage from the rest of SKT. Game, you have tanks on SKT and you have no tanks on RNG. Give some credit to RNG. They steal away that Cloud Drake uncontested. 
Duke is about to gnar out, throws Looper against the wall, stuns him with the wallop, crunches down, looks for more, one last auto. Duke solos Looper and says, game one sends my regard. So, flashes away, not gonna fall prey to the same move, but Looper's in trouble. Duke's got a GA, a cleaver, a mallet. He's looking for more, taking on three. That GA will pop shortly, flashes away. Ignite's burning him down. Guardian Angel pops. The rest this is of by time. time. They're down in the bottom lane. Shahu's left alone. He hops over the minions. Sidesteps a deadly flourish. MLXG's looking for the kill. Sonic Wave connects. Resonating strike. Duke might just survive. Get Mega Guard coming up. The boomerang. The excitement. No! Oh! He's in a lot of trouble. Support coming from multiple sides. Blank buys enough time with the rappel. Martyrs rooted down. Blank manages to flash into the pit. Should go down. Survives the voice of light. Sidesteps. Now all of a sudden, RNG are rooted. This is gonna get messy. Duke's got one, two, looking for a third. Not gonna be enough because Fake has got himself a double. Mata throws up the RNG flat. By the time the late game plays, Mata will have that push. That's why Smep roaming in. Got this coming in, the flash to push him back, but it's not gonna be the cocoon. And the Shockwave buys all the time Faker needs. 1v3, easy escape. Two summoners down, but he's okay. And that is the second gank that SK is. Both these teams are reacting so well to the state of the game. Exactly, and getting the double Infernal Drake is just enough to keep Rocks in the game. Oh, mid laners, assassin and support. What is this, 2013? Yeah, support so Oriana. Armor just not there yet. The only thing that matters right now is this Elder Dragon. SKD looking to rush it down, using the zone from Wolf. Look for him it has that only so many objectives this world. Do not uh, see Pal gets away from this time. He goes in for it, and it's secured by Bangy. That is a big deal. SKT, shot wave, wave, a shot down. They've got three already. They're looking to kill absolutely everybody. Rocks Tigers getting wiped off the face of the map. Smith, the only one alive. SKT burns Kuro's foot. Gotta keep tracking down his fortune support here, because he already is playing with four wards on the map. That's one extra compared to Wolf. Wolf, no boots at all, you know? Ooh, Peanut shock waved and rooted into everything. Nicely done. SKT pick one up. Yeah, beautiful. My bad, boys. But oh, now it's pressure back into the mid side. Wow, Duke deletes one, but it's a trade as well. Both supports are dead, and now Duke is being chased. Gets back onto prey. Did he get have the damage? Yes, he does. It's a shutdown. But now it's Eek. are trying to hope the fight is just that. Maybe it's a two oh. for two. The flash chase Kuro's there. The slows are there. And he will get the kill. A shutdown. Two for two overall. And we can see almost that Mina pull it out. On Kuro. The mind games here, they know they can get spotted here. They're going for Kuro. Double bomb on the Kuro. Jalo's going to land this time, and he's going to get the damage. Yes, he is. First blood in for Faker. Yeah. Over the wall goes Bangy, and so far, wow. so good for the first pick in Italy. The chase is still on. He able to control the bottom side of this map. Ooh, Shockwave's gonna land go. all the damage they need! And Peanut fails to repel it. What a great kill for or SKT. Even Not too much gain. Peanut and Frey walking back through the side and out of range of everything else. No Q gonna land for Bangy. Arrow yeah. goes over the face, and Frey is not long for the world. There's the kill coming through to Duke himself. He's roll. Ooh, a 20 the rush Baron. minute Baron. Do they Lee know? Sin is alive, but no smite right now for Bangy, and it won't be up in time. Yet. But they don't Not know enough. that. Okay, 2700, but he can't but he do it with smite. It's going to be all about it. it. He's in the pit, and it's the kill on the peanut. The Baron might for either side, and it goes to Spep to try to save the game. But it's so many kills coming through for SKT. Spep cannot pick up Bang, and it's a four for zero. We'll get a better one next. Say better. Oh, it's Smep getting caught up with this one, though. Jumping over to the minions, trying to get away from Bang. Thankfully not slowed by the volley. And he is going to get his life out of this one. But the Q's going to land. The tackle, the knockup. They want Kuro. The kickback and a prey. That's already one. Will it get two? Looks like, yes, Bangy secures it. And SKT on an absolute tear. Looking for more. Baker. Chased by Baker. Stays alive. Thanks to help from Wolf. The re-engage. Bangy is low. Smep tries to carry the fight. Just a clean two for zero. That was the roaming to the top, though. You can see Wolf catch him. Wolf immediately went to Rome top and oh, he's caught. Rome. He's caught. Call JJ. Oh. Oh, no, Bangy and Samsung Galaxy. They're not going to do it yet. Bangy runs for his oh, Here it comes Faker. Flash over the wall and no more. They have pink board control in the dragon area and they need to actually go and take some pressure back, which is they're going for now. Got Faker way one two, oh. and that's just easy. And wow. Faker gets done. Faker uses his third summoner spell. Brown looking for a target. They may want to go they for a die. Crowd's full health with both summoner spells up. All summoner spells are up for SKT, though. They're closing in, trying to push the minion wave first, and there goes the counterattack from Rise. The Realm Warp not going to be enough to get the range, but the flash 
does. Now, Faker and Wolf. Formation that SKT is working with, though. You know, as much as uh, we talked about the play oh, set up nice here, game. kicked into the wall, and that just looks, so, once again, so easy, so well executed. And they know they can cleanly go for that 2v2. Ace in the hole's available for Ruler. Oh, 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 the, oh. the exhaust, the flash, the heal. Ruler's face palming. He's flashed forward aggressively multiple times. This time it hurts him. Already took the Raptors away. He's taking the Krugs out as well. But now it's the flash engaged. Faker he got wants him. the blue buff back. Through the poppy. Not to mention that subjugate. You talked about Faker, though, fighting in the brush. He was indeed. Shockwave's still available. and traded a lot of damage. Voice of Light. Faker gets command protect. Through Shockwave is sidestepped. Crown doesn't get the kill. Crown was trying to bait him into that two-shot for us. Uh, Faker didn't quite take it, but... Pretty close little 1v1 there. Oh, worst trade Faker has taken in this lane. He's going to be forced into a recall, and I wonder if Ambition would want to go for the kill. No, oh, not if you miss. <laughs> what was the line? Uh... Oh, big World Championship victory. So been very impressive. Now they go for Ruler. Oh, Bubble, Ruler. Tidal Wave, Curtain Call. Maybe that is oh, the Curtain Martin. Call. SK Telecom. Half step backward, eats the root. Ends up going down, and now Ambition once again. He gets caught up Ooh. by Enchanted Crystal Arrow, the bubble, the bounce, everything. Chaos Storm is buying some time. Bang is forced to run away. Look at the damage from those ticks over and over. The undisputed best team in the world, the SKT Rain continues.